couple of techniques that I use to edit my photos and to add a watermark in Photoshop. Um, this can be kind of confusing for people who don't know very much about Photoshop. Um, so I'm just going to show you the steps that you go through um, that, so that you can ha you know, just touch up your photos just a little bit and add a watermark and then post them. And, and watermarking is super important so that uh, if people come across your cake photo, they know who made it. Um, you're, it always seems like as soon as you have a cake that goes viral or that gets shared a lot, that is the cake that you forgot to watermark. So um, that is very, very important and the least that you can do. And the other thing is just lightening and, and kind of making your photos look a little bit better so that when you do post them places, they look their absolute best. So I have opened up one of um, the cakes that I'm going to, to watermark here, and this was from a bridal show. It's my Alice in Wonderland cake. And it's a little bit dark. Uh, the, the, the color in the room was really, really dark. So I am gonna go up to, um, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go to Image, Adjustments, Curves in the Photoshop. Uh, you know, selection up top. I don't think you can see it, but maybe you can. And uh, this is the curves right here. And this is what I always use to adjust lightness and darkness. And if this was too bright, you see how it's dark down here and it's uh, lighter up here and here. So this is all where the lightness is and this is where the darkness is. So if I wanted it to be darker, I could just grab this line and pull down and that would make things darker. And if I wanted to increase the highlights, I could pull up, and you see how it's made this curve here? I've basically increased the contrast. And so you can kind of tweak things if you want to do that, but we don't want to do that right now. So go back to Image, Adjustments, Curves. I'm gonna, what I usually do is just grab right in the middle, which is basically the mid-tones of this picture. And I'm just gonna push it up a little bit I don't want to blow out my whites, but I want it to be bright. I want it to be nice and light and airy. And that's what I that's what I will usually do. Um, that's that's pretty much it. I'll just bright, brighten it up a little bit. Uh, the next thing is to add my watermark. So I'm going to go to File, open, Watermarks, and open all my watermarks here. move these off to the side. So the way that Photoshop works is in something called layers. Just putting, I'm just putting, nesting these all on top of each other in a separate window. And I just drag and drop. So uh, I'm going to minimize this for a second. So the way that Photoshop works is everything's a layer. And if you think of it as transparent pieces of paper, this picture is one piece of paper so that if I uh, click this layer button right here, it creates another piece of paper that is on top of this picture. So that if I uh, were to, let's say, draw on top of this, the blue you can see, but everything that is around the blue is still transparent. And it's just, a pe it's just on the piece of paper that is over my picture. So when you click off this eye, you're basically saying, I don't wanna see that piece of paper and you click it on, you can see it. So you can drag that to the trash. So that's a way that you can edit a, la a, a layer that is on top of your your cake without uh, you know ruining your your cake picture. So I'm going to um, go to my first image, which is a .dot psd, and this is a Photoshop file. Not everybody is going to have a Photoshop file of their um, logo you might only have an EPS or you know you might just only have a JPEG so I'll show you what to do with those things but if you happen to have a Photoshop file of your of your logo that's the best thing and I know you can't really see it it's because it's white and which is what which is what I want it to be so I'm gonna drag I'm just gonna grab my logo in this window and I'm just going to drag it over on top of here and you can see it's really small so to make it bigger I'm gonna press command T or Control T if you're on a PC, and I'm going to hold down Shift and grab this corn right here, and just expand this out. And that is just a way of of adjusting um, an image. 
Oops, accidentally grabbed the background. Uh, Command Z or Control Z, Un undo the last thing that you did. So now this is my watermark that is on top of my photo. That's a little bit big, a little bit smaller. So now when I share this, people will see that it's mine. Now that's a white version of my uh, logo. So, you, so it works best on really dark images, as you can see. Oops. So keep in mind, you might want to use a black version of your logo if you're putting it onto a white background, or you might use a white version of your logo if you're putting it onto a black background. So then let's, uh, let's say that I don't want this logo. You see how it's, made, it's on its own layer? That automatically happens when you draw, drag your logo over to your image. So I'm, if I want to get rid of it, I can just take this, this layer, click on it, and drag it down to the trash can, and now it's gone. Same thing for here. Into the trash can, now it's gone. So ideally, what you really want to have, if you don't have Photoshop, is a PNG. And a PNG is a portable graphic, um, I don't remember, I think it's called portable image graphic, I'm not for sure what it stands for, but it, it's like a Photoshop file where it has a transparent background, but it's not, you don't have to use it in Photoshop, you can use this in um, just like regular watermarking apps on your phone or in pretty much any like, you know, photo editing software, you can, you can use a .png and it will have a, uh, a transparent background. I mean, if, if the person who created it made it into a transparent background, it doesn't just automatically do it. You have to like save it that way. So whoever made your logo, make sure you give, they, they give you a PNG of it so that you can watermark things. So it'll, it's, oops. It, it uh, looks just like a Photoshop logo where the background is <clears throat> excuse me the background is transparent so what if you don't have a uh, PNG or a Photoshop and all you have is a JPEG which is what most people have so this is just a JPEG of my logo here it has a white background and if I drag this and put it over onto my cake here it doesn't look that great in fact it looks kind of bad I could make it bigger and smaller but it's got this white background on it so uh, what you can do in Photoshop is change the blending mode to multiply. And what that does is it gets rid of all of the white that is in the logo. So go from, click, there's a little drop down menu right here that's right next to the opacity. And that affects the layer that you're on. So instead of normal, press multiply. And that gets rid of the white. So now you have a, uh, a, 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 a usable watermark that you can apply to your photos. Now this might not always work just in case you have you know like a dark picture this is a dark you know photo right here so if I press multiply I can't really see that you know so uh, what we can try and do is press command I and that that inverses your uh, logo so that everything that was black is now white and everything that is white is now black and now change it to multiply and it's still really hard to see but depending on where you put it you might be able to make it work so this isn't like a the best kind of fix you know obviously it would still be better if you had um, if you could get a PNG because that's obviously going to work way better and um, just any graphic designer can do that for you as long as they have the uh, the file the original file that was given to you they should be able to convert it for you so I hope that was helpful um, if you have any questions about watermarking uh, you can leave them down in the comments um, some some uh, apps that you can use on your phone uh, the one that I use for my Apple phone is called Easy Watermark. Um, if you have an Android, 
I think there's one that's just called Watermarker. I mean, just search Watermark, any things will pop up. It's super easy. And then you upload your PNG to your phone by emailing it to yourself and then saving it to your phone or, you know, putting it on your phone some other way. Uh, and then you open it up inside the app and apply it to your photos before you post them places. So that's a really great way to take a picture of a cake like upon delivery, watermark it really fast and then post it and then you can make sure that everybody sees your cake and sees that it's made by you and there's no confusion about, you know, who made it just in case. And, um, and, uh, but I always use, I always use Photoshop. I always think it's easier. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys next time.